Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Chilton Public Library's repeat of our holiday movie trivia night. We ran this the night before Christmas Eve, and we thought we'd give it a chance uh, again to give extra people opportunities to challenge their family members in who knows the best holiday movie trivia. Just some quick house cleaning information. We want to remind everybody that we are going to be closed uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and we will reopen on January 4th. You still will be able to get a hold of the library with, uh, and leave holds either through our phone or through our message system, uh, but no one will be able to assist you at that time. So let's get going on here. Tonight we are going to be running, as I said, our first movie trivia night, and we are using the program Kahoot. So you're going to want to get your secondary device, either a cell phone or a tablet or a new window for your browser, and you are going to go to Kahoot it or Kahoot.it. And that browser is going to let you be able to play this game. Once you have that web page up, you're going to enter the PIN number, which is 3857442. So we're just gonna wait just a few minutes and we're going to let everybody be able to sign in on the Kahoot. If you run into any technical difficulties, please feel free to leave a message in the YouTube chat. We are monitoring the chat and we'll try to assist any technical support questions that we can in the meantime. While you guys are entering in the PIN number, just get, go through a little bit of how Kahoot works. We will be having a question that will appear on the screen and there will be two to four answers that you can choose from. On your device, secondary device that you'll be using, that's where you're going to be answering the questions and you'll be touching whichever color matches the correct answer 
of the question. And it looks like there is going to be a slight delay uh, in the streaming. So we have nine seconds on the clock. If you haven't entered yet, you can enter while the game is still playing. So feel free to continue on. The game is going to move right through. And so we're going to start right away with question one. And the question is, what are the names of the Griswold neighbors in the movie Christmas Vacation? Is it red, Mike and Tammy Klump? Blue, Todd and Margaret Margot Chester? Yellow, Tim and Margaret Charles? Or green, Mark and Tina Klaus? As I said, there is a slight delay in the stream, so we do have an extended clock countdown. And we'll let you know what time is on the actual game screen. So right now we are at 55 seconds. What are the names of the Griswold neighbors in Christmas Vacation? Red, Mike and Tammy Klump. Blue, Todd and Margot Chester. Yellow, Tim and Margaret Charles. Or green, Mark and Tina Klaus. So we are at 13 seconds. What are the names of the Griswold's neighbors in Christmas Vacation? Red, Mike and Tammy Klump. Blue, and we, oh, and we have two, one seconds. We have one answer, and the answer is Todd and Margot Chester, and that is blue. And it does look like we did get a correct answer on that one. And it looks like the Golden Badger is on the board. Let's go with question number two. In Gremlins, what happens when you get a mogwai wet? Red, it shrinks. Blue, it turns into a gremlin. Yellow, it multiplies. Or green, it goes to sleep. Don't worry about not seeing the full question yet. There are still 70 seconds on the clock if you haven't seen it yet. In the movie Gremlins, what happens when you get a mogwai wet? Red, it shrinks. Blue, it turns into a gremlin. Yellow, it multiplies. Or green, it goes to sleep. And with 40 seconds still left on the clock, we do have two answers right now already submitted. As soon as all the rest of the other players do submit their answers, the game will continue automatically. So we may not ha necessarily have to wait for the whole thing. And it does look like the answer is yellow. It multiplies. We had three people answer that and all three people got this answer correct. Looks like though, Golden Badger is still in the lead. For our third question, what movie features the Miser Brothers? Red, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Blue, Jack Frost. Yellow, The Year Without a Santa Claus. Or green, The First Christmas. The movie that features the Miser Brothers, just to give you a hint, is both Heat Miser and Cold Miser. And it is one of the older claymation movies. We currently have 55 seconds on the clock. We have one answer, our, oh, two answers already submitted. What movie features the Miser Brothers? Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which is red. Jack Frost, which is blue. Yellow, The Year Without a Santa Claus. Or green, The First Christmas. And we are currently at 33 seconds and counting with two answers on the board. Right now, a bit of little trivia. The Miser Brothers are very popular on TikTok. There is an awful lot of cosplayers who are currently cosplaying as both Heat Miser and Cold Miser. And now we have 10 seconds left on the clock. We still have two answers in. So as soon as 
either of our other players submit their answers, we will move on. And the answer, we have two answers in, is the year without Santa Claus. And both people had that correct. And it looks like Golden Badger has now answered three questions correct in a row. So great job, Golden Badger. Our fourth question, in Frosty the Snowman, what is the name of the magician? Red, Professor Clump. Blue, Professor Jones. Yellow, Professor Dumbledore. Or green, Professor Hinkle. And we have two answers in right away. It looks like those two people were very confident in the answer of what the name was of the magician in the movie Frosty the Snowman. Is it red, Professor Clump? Blue, Professor Jones, yellow, Professor Dumbledore, or green, Professor Hinkle. We have three answers in. We are at 45 seconds right now. So we are just waiting, it looks like, for the last person who is in the game to submit their answer. And we have 30 seconds left on the clock, and we'll go through the question one last time. In Frosted the Snowman, what is the name of the magician? Is it Red Professor Clump, Blue Professor Jones, Yellow Professor Dumbledore, or Green Professor Hinkle? And we have 10 seconds left on the clock with a 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we had three answers in. Only one person of the three got the answer correct, and it was green, Professor Hinkle. And it looks like whoever is quick ant was the only one who knew that particular answer. Our fifth question is, what was the name of Santa's super sled engine in the movie Elf? Red, Red Flame. Blue, Comet 2020. Yellow, Kringle 3000 or green, Nimbus 2000. And we do have one answer already on the board with 65 seconds left to go. Elf, the movie came out in 2003 and studied or, and starred Will Ferrell, who accidentally was transported to the North Pole as a toddler and raised to adulthood among Santa's elves. So what was the name of Santa's super sled engine in Elf? Red, Red Flame. Blue, Comet 2020. Yellow, Kringle 3000. Or green, Nimble 2000. And the correct answer was Kringle 3000. And only one person got that answer correct. And it looks like Silly Chicken has now moved up into third place. Congratulations, Silly Chicken. Question number six is, which Christmas song plays during the end credits of Die Hard? Red, Winter Wonderland. Blue, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Yellow, 12 Days of Christmas. Or green, White Christmas. Die Hard, an action thriller movie that came out in 1998, it is much debated as to whether or not it is considered an actual Christmas movie or not. Uh, we had some strong opinions at the library and so we included it on our list. The question again, which Christmas song plays during the end credits of Die Hard? Red, Winter Wonderland. Blue, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Yellow, 12 Days of Christmas. Or green, White Christmas. With 30 seconds left on the clock, we have three answers right now on the board, and we are just waiting for one more additional answer. Some additional trivia for you. Die Hard stars Bruce Willis and Alan Rickman. We now have eight seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is 
blue. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And it looks like that question stumped all of our contestants today. So we're gonna get ready to move on to question seven. We have 10 questions that will be left after this one. So what real life toy inspired the movie Jingle All the Way? Red, Cabbage Patch Dolls, Blue, Beanie Babies, Yellow, Tickle Me Elmo, or Green, Furby. Oh, and we got the answer right away. The correct answer was Cabbage Patch Dolls. Nobody got that one correct. So another one that seemed to stump everybody. But that's all right. It still looks like Golden Beaver, or Golden Badger is still on the top of the board. For our next question, in what movie did the song White Christmas first appear? Red, Holiday Inn. Blue, Christmas in Connecticut. Yellow, White Christmas. Or green, Miracle on 34th Street. The song White Christmas was originally recorded May 29th, 1942, and then re-recorded again March 19th, 1947. The question, in what movie did the song White Christmas first appear? Red, Holiday Inn. Blue, Christmas in Connecticut. Yellow, White Christmas. Or green, Miracle on 34th Street. The song White Christmas was released multiple times throughout the decades in 1942, 1945, 1950, 55, 70, 1983, 1988, 1989, and 1998. We have eight seconds left on the board with five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is red holiday Inn. And this question did split the contestants with one person getting it correct. And it looks like Silly Chicken was the one who got that right and has now jumped over Quick Ant into second place. We are on our ninth question. Who was the villain in Santa Claus is Coming to Town? Red, Burgermeister Meisterburger, or blue, Meister Burger Burgermeister? The question again, who was the villain in Santa Claus's Coming to Town? Red, Burger Meister Meister Burger, or blue, Meister Burger Burger Meister? We have two answers on the board. We have 40 seconds left on the clock. Santa Claus is Coming to Town was done in the claymation artwork as well. We have three answers on the board board and I have been told that there has been a few technical difficulties um, we are taking a look into that we now have 15 seconds left on the board once again the villain in Santa Claus is coming to town is it red Burgermeister Meister Burger or blue Meister Burger Burgermeister and the answer is Burger Meister Meister Burger. It, with two of the three answer, contestants answering that. And Silly Chicken has now moved into the lead. We are now at question 10 with seven questions after this one. During which war does White Christmas take place? Red, World War II. Blue, World, War of 1812. Yellow, World War I or Green, Korean War. We have 70 seconds on the clock. I am just going to hit mute for just one second so I can see if I can solve some of the technical problems that we are having. And I'll be right back.
I am back, and with eight seconds left, we have five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is World War II. And one person got that answer correct. And it looks like Silly Chicken is now has a streak of three correct answers in a row. We are on question number 11, and it is, how much money does Uncle Billy lose in It's a Wonderful Life? Red, $8,000. Blue, $5,000. Yellow, $10,000. Or green, $800. It's a Wonderful Life is a 1946 drama fantasy movie where George Bailey has so many problems that he's thinking about ending it all. And the correct answer is $8,000. And we had all four contestants get that answer correctly. And it looks like Silly Chicken has a streak of four correct answers in a row and is holding on to that lead. We are now on question 12 of 17. In what city did the 1947 film Miracle on 34th Street take place? Red, Chicago. Blue, New York. Yellow, Los Angeles. Or green, Cleveland. We have one answer already on the board with 65 seconds left. Three answers on the board, Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, and we have the correct answer is Blue New York with three of the correct people having the correct answer. And Classy Elk has now jumped over Golden Badger into second place. Question number 13. This one, I know that there's gonna be a few that will get this one right. In the movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas, what is the name of the Pumpkin King? Red, Mayor of Halloween Town. Blue, Oogie Boogie. Yellow, Jack Skellington. Or green, Jack O' Lantern. And we have 70 seconds left on the clock to be able to answer those questions. We have one answer, two answers, three answers, and one more left to go. What is the name? Oh, and all four answers went to Jack Skellington, and that is correct. Congratulations, everyone got that one right. And it looks like Quick Ant, though, has now jumped up into the lead on this, or into third place. We now are at question 14, so we are way over, and we're almost to the end of this. What is the name of the head elf that Scott Calvin meets when he first arrives at the North Pole in the movie, the Santa Claus. Is it red, Billy? Blue, Bernard? Yellow, George? Or green, Greg? And we have 68 seconds left on the clock for the movie, The Santa Claus. This movie became a trilogy and it was one of Tim Allen's most famous uh, pieces of work that he has done. We have three answers already on the clock. With 50 seconds left, what is the name of the head elf? And it is Blue Bernard. Three out of the four ant people got that answer correct. And it looks like Quick Ant is up to second place, but Silly Chicken is still holding strong with seven answers in a row correct. We are at question 15. In the movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, how many sizes does the does the Grinch's heart grow once he gets feelings? Is it red, five sizes, blue, 10 sizes, yellow, three sizes, or green, two sizes? And we have 70 seconds left on the clock. We have two answers in the movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is based on the popular book of the same title by Dr. Seuss. We have three answers in. How many sizes does the Grinch, Grinch's heart grow once he gets feelings? Red, five sizes. 
And the correct answer is three sizes, yellow. And three out of the four people got that one correct. Quick Ant now has the highest answer streak of five. However, Silly Chicken is still holding that lead. We have our last two questions. And number 16 is, who is the father of Rudolph the Red no Rudolph in the movie Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Red, Donner. Blue, Dasher. Yellow, Dancer. Or green, Comet. And we have 70 seconds left on the clock. We don't have an answer yet on the board. We are at 55 seconds. Who is the father of Rudolph in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Red Donner, Blue Dasher, Yellow Dasher, or Green Comet? Fun fact, reindeer that keep their antlers in winter are actually females. And the correct answer is Red Donner. And it looks like that question split the board. Two people got it right. Classy Elk moved into second place and Majestic Bobcat moved into third. And we are on our last question of the night. Number 17, in A Charlie Brown Christmas, when catching snowflakes on his tongue, Linus thought the flake needed red salt, blue sugar, yellow cookies, or green cocoa. We have 70 seconds on the clock and there was one contestant who clearly felt that they knew the answer right away. They got their answer in immediately. So Charlie Brown's Christmas movie, when catching snowflakes on his tongue, Linus thought the flakes needed red salt, blue sugar, yellow cookies, or green cocoa. And the correct answer is blue sugar. And it looks like two people got that question correct. And it looks like Silly Chicken was number one with Classy Elk and Quick Ant rounding up the second and third place spots. Our most difficult questions. Oh, it already moved forward. Sorry about that, guys. We'll have to work on that a little bit. So we want to thank everybody for participating in our first our holiday trivia movie night. We look forward to ironing out the technical difficulties that we had tonight and having our next one go on. Uh, once again, we want to remind everybody that we are closed on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and that following Saturday, and we will be reopening on January 4th. If you have any questions, please feel free to give the library a call. However, we are still open tonight until eight o'clock and Tuesday and Wednesday are normal hours from 10 to eight. So please feel free to get all any of the library materials that you would like to get you through the holiday season. We look forward to seeing you guys all otherwise back at the new year. Thank you once again and have a happy new year's. Thank you everyone.